Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey, everybody, asshole consult. Asshole consult. I need a, a jingle. So yeah, it's asshole, it's asshole, come get your ass kicked. It's asshole, it's asshole, pay that guy some money. Some, I don't know, one of you, you know what, there's there's one creative guy out there come up with a jingle. <laughs> some kitschy 1950s, I'm thinking like, it's quagmire, quagmire, giggity giggity, let's have sex, but something like that, I don't know, you got to figure it out. Hey, Captain Anus, I am in need, I'm need... The spelling is bad on this one, I forgot. Okay, I'm going to read it just how it's, it's spelled. Hey, Captain Anus, I need your impressions on this woman. Hopefully I can make this short as possible, compacting the details so you won't charge me more like the greedy asshole that you are. <laughs> eh, ah, me public. I also want to be completely anonymous for this video request. Okay, I am 20 years old living at a place with my mom working at a major airline. I'm thinking about going into the Air Force, get a second job in an aircraft repair company, or taking aircraft maintenance classes at my local community college to get my air airframe and power plant license. <clears throat> all right, these are all good goals. Yesterday, I went out with an older Trinidadian, a Trinidadian woman from work. She seemed okay, but doesn't like to talk about her business or past, only mine. I even asked her about her age, and she doesn't want to talk about it. I showed a picture of her to my friends, and they said she is too old and looks like a gold digger. I saw, and then he did send pictures I saw her. She doesn't look like a gold digger from the pictures I saw. Uh, of course, it was she was at work. Uh, and she she could be 30. She does not look young 20s. Uh, she looks like maybe older 20s, younger 30s, but she is, she is older than you. She was wearing a lot of jewelry, don't know if this is a cultural thing, a lot of makeup, drives a Nissan Murano, and she has two jobs, customer service from another airline and fleet service from American Airlines. Uh, she said she's going to fishing school to become a registered nurse, and she said that she lives by herself. When was buying a dress, when she was buying a dress, she had so many credit slash debit cards, she couldn't find the one card, and I had to pitch in to pay for the dress. Same goes for movie and dinner. She even wants me to buy her something for her birthday next week, and wants me to renew my passport and travel with her. We get travel privileges and I also have a feeling this is a shit test. Yes, it is. Good, good eye. Good eye. I really don't want to throw away this fish. She is my first date in my life and seems like a Nawalt. Not all women are like that. And search, and search for another woman since most of the women around my age group are damaged slash used goods, had had a relationship, kids, but don't want to be played, grow bitter, and live the MGTOW lifestyle. Should I go further with this woman or not? Thanks. All right, dude, I'm going to level with you because you sent me a picture of yourself. You're a nerd. You're fat. You're not ugly. I don't really think there's ugly people. I mean, you know ugly people when you see them. Like, ah, that's a weird looking face. What happened? You're just fat and you're a nerd and you're 20 and this is your first date. All right? That's your problem. And I know a lot of people go, you, 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 dude, lose the weight and you got to man up. And I know a lot of people are like, here, man, just you got to get your ass shot down. You got to lose. And, and here's the other thing. Not only do you have to lose weight, then you got to start approaching girls. You don't bother approaching girls until you lose the weight because you're the fat, nice guy. You're the fat, nice guy. Everyone's nice and friendly with you. This girl, though, however, so that's you, okay? So let's, let's get over this hurdle of my first date and I'm two decades old. That shit ends now, man, all right? You're going you're gonna to gain muscle. You're going to lose weight. Um, you're going to start walking. Then you're going to start running. I'm not a big fan of like dressing up. You can dress up, but uh, and then you're gonna start asking girls out. Okay, that's that's what you're gonna do. Uh, the, you're not gonna be one of these 40 year old virgins. Not under my watch. Now, uh, all that being said, that's you. That's what's under your power and control. This girl, fuck no. You get rid of this girl. This girl is a gold digger. The if she had you, you your observational powers are great. You 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 pick up on things very well. But then you don't want to make the logical, obvious conclusion, and that is she is a gold digging, money grubbing whore. Uh, maybe not a whore, but she's definitely a gold digger. Oops, I can't find the credit card that works. Can you pay for? It? Not one fucking chick has ever tried that on me. Not one. And then you got to pay for the food and all that. And I guarantee you, you're going to be her wallet when she goes down to wherever it is in the Caribbean or where you guys are from. No! 
No, you do not. You don't even call this girl back. This is done. This is over, man. I don't care if it's your first love. I don't care if this is the first goal you stuck your dick into. Get the fuck rid of her. All right? You got to focus on you, man. And, and this is typical of every 20-something man. I mean, there's no one at the age of 20, unless you were particularly well brought up and raised and trained by a father. Um, no, nobody was new or had the wisdom or knew what the fuck they were doing at 20. I think going into the Air Force would be a great experience um, because then they're going to pay for your, your uh, education. They're going to give you discipline. You'll lose the fucking weight in basic. A matter of fact, you probably have to lose weight to pass a physical to get into the Air Force. Um, but, but yeah, man, the Air Force will train you in all this shit. It seems like you like... Um, you like airplanes. You like the air industry. And, and you're not like, I just want to be a pilot. You actually like working on it. The Air Force would love to have a guy like you willing to work on planes, willing to do aircraft repair and maintenance. And, um, you know, they'll, pay, they'll train you and then they'll send you to school if you want. But you won't even have to go to school because they have training programs. I mean, of course, it's like fix this one plane. You'd be stuck with that one plane. But they'll pay for whatever schooling you want. So it's, it, you know, and there's nothing wrong working um, at your position at that major airline. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what 20-year-olds do. I think the benefits are pretty cool. You probably get a lot more benefits than you have a 20-year-old. But I think you need to stop focusing on the girls, especially this one. Focus on your career. Focus on you. Trim yourself down. Um, I think you'll get rid of that baby fat. You'll start to look more like Denzel Washington. Uh, but that, that aside, don't don't obsess about this girl. Do not get one-itis. Look that up. You do not want one-itis on this lady. This girl is just going to take you from This is the type of girl that will ruin your life or at least set you back for a decade because you'll, this is the one, and then all of a sudden, like, she got pregnant, and now you're going to pay for the children. And, I mean, there's so, this is such a fragile landmine you're dancing on right now. Absolutely not. You get rid of her. You focus on you. I'd recommend the military or go to school. It's up to you. I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do, but I, that's just what I think. And then in four years' time of you getting your ass kicked, getting disciplined, not that you have lack discipline, but I mean working out, a regimen, and some structure in your life and say, this is what I'm going to do, there's it, and, and you start achieving different goals and all that, uh, I think, you know, shoot, you put on the uniform, oh, man, the ladies, Jesus Christ, they come out of the woodwork, man. You just, you just put on your uniform. Shop looking dude with your hat, and the girl's like, oh, who's that? Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just an airman. They don't, girls don't know rank. They don't know rank. You could be a fucking airman and the, the fucking major. They don't know the difference. You can have a general next to a private. As long as the guy's in a uniform, girls want to nail him. That's what I, but yeah, they don't. I'm a sergeant. That's nice. How many generals do you command? Uh, seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you you're doing good. Don't fuck it up. This girl's trouble, man. This girl will fuck you up. And, um, yeah, otherwise, keep on going. Just lose a little bit of that weight. Sit in the military. Just, just, just don't let women fuck you. This one is bad. Follow your instincts on this one, okay? All right, best of luck to you. Toodles.